Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jason Church with Aero Truck Sales in Kansas City. I wanted to talk to you about a group of 2016 Volvo VNL 670s we just bought. Really nice group of trucks. They're either silver gray in this color or we have them in red as well. Before I tell you about specs, I want to tell you about things on the Volvo product that kind of really set it apart for me. I like to start at the front of the truck and when you look at this versus anything else, I really notice aerodynamics and no open spaces. The headlights are flush to the fenders. The bumper has a spiller space to the hood. The chassis fairings, filler space, hard filler space to the door, the cab and the sleeper. Opening the hood is, is kind of unique. You're not going to fight with each side of the hood to unlatch and then open. Under the steering column, you simply pull a handle, close your door, and let's pretend I'm at a fuel dock. I'm going to check my vital signs on my engine and fluids right now. Instead of going up front and pulling a hood, I'm just going to take two fingers and let it go. Gas struts are standard on the Volvo product with the hood. You don't have to stand up there and hold it. I am literally going to step in here, unlike any other truck, because the steering gearbox, this pitman arm, is mounted inside the frame rail instead of out. My oil fill and check is right here. Washer fluid. If this were a manual clutch truck, the hydraulic reservoir would be right here power steering fluid, check and fill, and I can see my radiator reservoir or expansion tank right here. If it were to have low fluid, I would know to go over there and add it now. When you look at also the Volvo design, a lot of people that don't or are not familiar with the product, they look at the front frame and they think that it's bent. And we call that a splayed frame. So the engine actually sits lower in the cradle gives a lower center of gravity, less sway going down the highway, but the, what they really designed it for is, heaven forbid, if you were in a front impact, the engine is not gonna go through the cab of the truck. It's gonna break off of the bell housing and go under the truck. Also, the steering shaft is mounted at an angle. Same principle if there was a front impact, instead of the shaft going through you, it's going to break away sideways and go out. I'm going to step out now. Standard on the VNL products also are these inner fender wells that are channeled and it actually pulls rain under the truck instead of doing uh, road spray outside. I'll put the hood down. You can just again let it go, it'll latch itself. Three piece bumpers are standard. If you're at a fuel dock, you hit something, you're parked overnight, somebody's trailer rubs your bumper or your hood, you just replace a section. Same with the hood, you can replace a section. Much faster repair time, and certainly a lower cost of repair. Bug screens are standard in the VNL product, behind the radiator and through the air dam. Four core radiators are standard as well. Due to the steering design, like I showed you, to me, uh, this is one of the tightest wheel cuts in the industry with any of the VNL products. But talking about Volvo, I think safety and comfort and strength, kind of like the Volvo Insignia, is for steel. It's a steel cab truck. It's one of the few on the industry still. It's a little heavier, but I'm going to tell you why it's so important. Also, for the ride. To have such a short wheelbase, they have an incredible ride. And the way that they achieve that is their front spring design. It's a parabolic spring and it's 56 inches. It's not multiple leaves, it's only two, but they're very thick. So they're very strong, but they give very well going down the road. <laughs> Standard chassis fairings on the Volvo have the same design. There's two latches that you can pull open. It'll drop down. I can release a clip and pull this entire piece off in less than 10 seconds. 
On the passenger side, you're gonna have your after treatment, DPF, vertical, and your SCR box. Looking at the Volvo, this design came out in 2004. They were the first to pioneer no rivets, no shown welds, an automotive style door with an automotive style finish. Actual hinges like your cars today, dual gaskets, interior and exterior for less wind noise and just weather itself. When you close it, it's substantial. It closes and it stays closed. Also standard, both sides, any Volvo sleeper, I have a hook I'm gonna pull here and release compartments on both sides. The doors come up instead of you fighting it side to side in the wind. Again, a full automotive style gasket, a one inch thick insulation floor, rubber is standard in the back. If there was a spill, it's very easy to clean up. As goofy as it sounds, if it was raining and I needed to get something out of here, I do have a little protection. Things that really stand out to me in the Volvo, I think of all of our customers, what is the most important thing? Driver fatigue, being comfortable, but more importantly, getting home. If something were to happen on the road, I wanna give you an analogy. We know the front design, we know the engine breakaway, we know less sway and a lower center of gravity, but let's say something bad does happen and the truck ends up on the side. So it was on a rollover and it's sitting on its side. Looking at the back wall, if you notice all the lines and ribs in there, compared to most trucks that just have a smooth design and are aluminum cabs, it's kind of like a, a soda can. If you were to crush it, it crushes very easy. If you were to take a steel can, and here's my analogy, taking a piece of paper, standing it up and letting it go, is just gonna fall down. But if you put one's crease through it and you stand it up, it's gonna stand up just fine. If you have an aluminum cab with a smooth back wall versus a rigid steel on its side, probably a big difference on how things are gonna turn out. Rear cross members are finished on all Volvo trucks. There's not a bare frame that's jagged or the cheap little lights that hang down. They're finished very well. Huck bolt design through all of your trunnion, suspension, and fifth wheel design is standard. What I call staggered clean steps and a large catwalk and a real handle to get up to hook up your trailer, standard on Volvo. Like the passenger side, I can access the driver's side, again, remove the clip, pull this piece away. My def tank is here. My batteries are in the same spot on every single Volvo truck in all three of my air tanks, primary and secondary. Staggered entry steps that are self-cleaning. Again, two real handles staggered so I can easily get in with a three-point entry. What we call an infinite tilt and telescopic steering column. Wherever I set this and I let off the handle, it's gonna stay. Okay, we're inside the Volvo truck now. Again, going to the tilt and telly. When I get in and I have it set up, it is very easy for me to get in. I'm gonna pull this down. My engine exhaust brake is right here. Turn signals. What I really like about the Volvo product is the onboard diagnostics and computers. I can go through this system and check engine codes, transmission codes, HVAC, lighting system, literally everything on the truck. And if it is throwing an active code, on, especially on the engine or the after treatment, it will give me the code of what is wrong so I can call ahead to a dealer and be well prepared and give them a heads up for what I need. Quicker time in, quicker time out, back on the road. The dash itself, to me, is a lot like a car. They're not small switches that have small riding or small insignias on them. It's very clear. Air slide fifth wheel, suspension dump valve, inner axle power divider lock, 
my trolley valve for my trailer, this particular truck, the HVAC is right here. I can control my recirculation, AC on and off, but this is an automatic climate control. I can just set the temperature I want and I'm done. Rear sleeper control is here as well. Kind of what I call a smart wheel. I can flash my headlight and taillight from here. My city horn and my air horn is here. Talking about Volvo safety again, Volvo trucks are the only trucks standard with a steering wheel airbag like your car. Easy to read gauges. All the critical information is there. This particular one has a boost gauge and front and rear temperature differential gauges as well. Power right window, dual power heated mirrors. The handle to get in and out is on top. I'm not fighting it down here. Easy to use. Bluetooth weather band stereo. I wanna talk about the windshield of this truck and let's talk about being on its side again. We've, we're safe, the cab didn't crush, but let's talk about getting out. If I'm laying on the driver's side of the truck, I wanna talk about this windshield, it's special in a lot of ways. One, it's urethaned in, and I can literally kick this windshield out with my foot. And hopefully not break my foot, but to get out quickly. It's also the largest one-piece windshield in the industry. It's 2,092 square inches, making a great visibility. I don't look at a lot of hood height, and I have very large side windows. Talking about visors was one of the nicest things to me in a Volvo, a standard sliding driver's side visor for blind spots in the sun. But more importantly, I'm looking ahead. If I'm driving into the sunset, and the sun is coming down over here. I've got a very large visor, but if I pulled it down again, a lot of trucks have the space here. You still have the blind spot. And that is why Volvo mounted it to go forward. It eliminates that blind spot. If I did need to access fuses or relays, I can pull this out pop this up and I have a full schematic of all the fuses and relays in the truck right here. Another thing very nice about the Volvo product is storage spaces. They've utilized literally every spot available. Cubbies with nets above the driver area, 12 volt outlets, blank switches if you were to add anything else, and you can mount your CB above or on top of the dash. Standard prep from the factory. Standard on the 670 also is a pull-out workstation or a little desk. This is an actual step that I can use to get up to the upper bunk. Clear HVAC controls, radio controls, dual vents standard on trucks both sides. TV prep and microwave prep standard on this truck. A full length shirt closet and a nice cabinet. Actually, this one has a refrigerator behind the driver's seat. Carpet in the back, nice for being barefoot, rubber up front, easy to clean. Arrows acquired quite a few of these 2016 Volvo VNL 670s. They have the VD engine, 13, 425 horsepower, what we call the XC package, standard with the iShift 12-speed tried and true transmission, dual 100-gallon fuel tanks, three-quarter chassis skirts, air slide fifth wheel, suspension dump valve, inner axle lock. Excellent miles. These are truly extra clean trucks. I encourage you to click or call now.